Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacy, and today is Wednesday. We leave for Disney on Friday, so I have a this lot to do. This is the current state of my kitchen. So today I need to clean and I need to pack. It's going to be a busy lunch break. So in my defense of all of these dirty dishes, I have been trying to cook more, which unfortunately leads to a lot more messy dishes. Okay, so the dishwasher is full, even though I didn't get all the dishes put in there. I got most of them, and I still have some hand wash things that I need to do. But I'm going to shift focus onto the laundry, because I gotta get started. So if you're new to my channel, I don't sort laundry. Um, I've tried in the past, but honestly, it just piles up too fast for me to worry about sorting it. Okay, while well, I was in the laundry room, I went ahead and grabbed the vacuum cleaner. So, I can't vacuum all of the floor because I am working in the living room today, but I'm gonna get as much vacuum as I can. So I'm not trying to vacuum the entire floor, but I'm trying to vacuum as much as I can, as fast as I can. So I'm just hitting all of the high traffic areas where I normally receive some dirt or uh, pet hair accumulate. Day two of me packing and cleaning. I'm gonna get started this morning by cleaning out the car. Whenever I clean out the car, I take two grocery store bags, one for trash and one for things that need to go into the house. So now I'm cleaning up the console and I do not know how people keep their cars clean. We just can't do it. We just, we can't. Um, so I'm getting out old receipts and stuff like that. Uh, we keep DVDs down here so that Rex can watch movies on the trip. A mask right there. We also go into the console. There's some wipes for his hands and his face while he eats and more movies. So I'm just gonna organize these and kind of clean this area out a little bit. cleaning up these little cubbies that sit in front of the passenger seat. It's really just full of candy for Rex. I'll also take a couple more of these grocery bags and shove them into the compartment in the door. That way I have a place to put the trash while we're traveling down the road. And that way it doesn't accumulate all over the car. 
So keep sanitizer on hand right there during the road trip. Um, keep sunblock right by my side of the seat between my seat and the console because we're always going to parks and it's just easier to keep it in the car. Um, back in the back seat, I'm going to clean out now. I have my Mickey ears. I have some trash that I gotta get out of here. But I keep things in here that Rex can always play with. All right, the car is ready. Okay guys, lots to do. We want to get everything packed in in the car tonight because we are leaving in the morning for Florida. Okay, so if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that Rex is a very, very picky eater. So we can't just stop at Wendy's and get him chicken nuggets and fries. He won't eat them. So we make sure we pack him plenty of food. These fruit and veggie pouches are super healthy for him. It gives him some veggies. He likes the fruit taste and he loves them. So we are packing tons. Each box holds 12. And let's see, 12. He might go through. We may need to pack all the boxes we have. Okay, aside from the pouches, packing cheese crackers. Rex used to eat these all the time, but recently he has not been eating any. He told me that he would eat them for Disney, so I'm packing them. As I feel better, the more variety I can give him. I'm also packing some raisins. He hasn't been crazy about them lately, but I gotta pack some anyways. I'm actually gonna go ahead and open these up and open these up so that I can put some in the front of the car for us on the trip down because it's about 11 hours in the car. I'm also going to clean this out and pack it with us. That way it's something hard that he can keep his snacks in and has a lid. So that'd be good. It's actually not crazy about the Teddy Grahams that come in these containers. These containers are perfect for a road trip, but he likes to do them out of the big box. So we keep our cooler in the garage. So I'm just gonna wipe it down and open it up, let it air out a little bit before we pack it for the trip. Don't forget to pack your mask. We got these for Rex. We got these for us. Gotta pack the mask. Okay, so right now it is September. It's getting close to the Halloween time at Disney. Um, they normally do Halloween parties. Not going on this year, but the kids can still wear costumes. So I got a whole nother suitcase for us to take costumes. He wants to take Buzz, Darth Vader, Stormtroopers, Police Officer. Who else? So many. Okay, I do think Buzz is a bit small for him, um, but that's what he wants to take. And who am I to crush his spirit, you know? If he's comfortable in it, we're packing it. So here's the Buzz. Now with Buzz, you gotta pack Buzz's rings, Buzz's helmet, Buzz's gloves. If you guys have not seen this closet, I'll try to. This is his costume closet, and I recently organized it. And I'm so happy we did, because it's so easy to find everything he wants. Okay, so I decided to speed this part up, because there were so many costumes and so many accessories, and honestly, the suitcase that I got wasn't big enough for all of Rex's costumes that he wanted to pack. So I had to go and find another suitcase. So I also wanted to show you guys this little basket. I got it for $3 at Target and honestly wish I would have gotten more of them because I think it's adorable. Um, but I'm going to keep it up front with me in the passenger seat full of snacks for Rex. Um, so Teddy Grahams, um, some raisins, some cheese crackers, some pouches, and just little things that he might want on the road. So I brought all the suitcases in the living room. This is Rex's suitcase that we take for him and it's full of all of his clothes. And now we're ready to get everything loaded up in the car and head to Florida.